Boo, gamers! Aha! I got you! I got you! Oh, man, you should have seen the look on your face. Hey, gamers, it's me, Rockcock64, and I am here today for a very, um, very... For, for a very seasonally... surface level spooky stream for Halloween. There's gonna probably be like a skeleton or a mummy. Um, there might be like a, a spooky house. Uh, it could be an abominable snowman or like a... People with, with green skin. Um, I don't think there's any skeletons this year. I mean, there's one here right now, but he's... He's not a full skeleton, he's just a head and a hand. Pretty sure they were out of skeletons this year, you know, with COVID and everything, they had to... They just... Well, well, with COVID and everything, there was lots of skeletons available, but, um... So, today, I'm gonna, I, I have a gamer juice here. It's... For, for the season, I have an orange... Monster energy drink. Orange, just like the color of Halloween... Of Halloween. Oh boy, let me crack it open here. Here we go. Mmm, it's orange color just like being scary. Ah. Oh boy. So, I hope you all have a good Halloween plan tonight. I'm sure all of you are going to big Halloween parties and you're gonna get horribly ill and then die in like two weeks or so. So, anyway, let's play some video games. How about we play some video games today? I think that would be a great idea. A great idea. To play a little bit of seasonally appropriate video games. Now, when I think of Halloween, there's one specific video game that comes to mind for me. It's a game that I think I played in the past on this channel a long, long time ago. And from what I remember, I comedically failed at the last possible second to beat it because I forgot to do one tiny itsy bitsy thing. Basically throwing the entire playthrough into the garbage. So let's see if maybe this year we, <laughs> we can remedy this situation and actually beat the game. That would be cool. I think so. So let's get started. With a game that tells me it's all about Halloween. In my heart. Thanks for subscribing, Orange Xenon. This is a game by Lucas... Lucas Games. All rights reserved. Lucas Arts Entertainment, copyright 1990. It's Maniac Mansion. There's a bloody chainsaw on the end. Oh no. Oh. Somebody, somebody gross cut up the end. Get in or get out. That's messed up. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm so scared. I need to take a sip of my orange monster energy drink. All right, so for those of you unfamiliar with Maniac Mansion, we need to go in with a party of three kids. Uh, by default, Dave is a part of the party. He's organizing this rescue effort to rescue his girlfriend. So we need to pick two other kids. All these kids have different abilities and stuff that they can do. Um, just a little bit there. There we go. So, let, let me introduce you to them real quick. This is Razor. She's the leader of the band, the Razor and the Scumettes. She seems pretty good at music and stuff. Okay, that's Razor. She has red hair. This is Bernard. He's a nerd ass geek. He can, he can fix things, and he's a nerd. This is Sid. He's an aspiring musician. He wants to start his band. He has, you know, sunglasses on. This is Wendy. She's a, a journalist, a novelist. She writes things. She, she, she thinks she's smart. This is Jeff. He's a fucking loser, and nobody likes him. 
And then this is Michael. He's an ace photographer for the college newspaper and has a real jazzy goddamn theme song to him. Alright. Who all should I pick here? I need to pick two of these other kids that aren't Dave. Now, if I was a better prepared streamer, I probably could have turned on, like, click maps or something. But I don't know how that works. I have no idea how that shit works. Alright, I see, like, three votes for nerd. Uh, another vote for nerd. Okay, I, it looks like nerd... Bernard is gonna be one of our boys here. Alright, so Bernard is gonna be one of our choices. We need to have another- now we have- need to have another guy. Need to have another man here. So we can have, you know... Razor's a musician. You know, she's pretty hot. Uh, we have... this cool dude. Who plays in the band. We have Wendy, who's a novelist. We have some fucking loser. And we have Michael, who takes pictures of things. Okay, I, I, I see some votes for Wendy. Well, one vote for Wendy, repeated four times. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, another one for Razor. Oh, oh, we have a waifu battle. Who's our true waifu? Is it Wendy or Razor? Oh, no. Oh, no. One vote for the loser. Oh, I see a second vote for for Razor. A second vote for Razor. Oh, I see a vote for Michael. A, a third vote for Razor. Oh. Oh, things are getting... Oh, th things are things are heating up here. Three for Razor, one for Wendy, one for Michael. Oh, oh, two for Wendy. Two for Wendy. Uh, Orange Xenon, I, I, I'm not dropping any frames, so it's probably on your end, Orange Xenon. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, dude. It, oh, it, is that a fourth vote for Razor? Okay, it looks like Razor has overtaken everyone else. So we're going in with a party here of Dave, Bernard, and Razor. And we're gonna rescue uh, Sandy. Oh, boy. Uh, there we go. Okay, this looks like the old mansion. I'm sure I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be dangerous. If anyone wants out... Okay, I'm out of here! Bernard, don't be a tuna head. Sandy we're talking about. Okay. I heard Dr. Fred was kind of cute. Beat. So how, so how do we get into the mansion? Uh... I, we can try looking for a key under the doormat. Okay, let's go rescue Sandy. Uh, which console version is this? Um, this is the NES version. Nintendo Entertainment System running through Scum VM. I'm running it through Scum VM so I have full mouse control instead of being stuck with a D-pad. Personally, I'm a big fan of the NES version's appearance, and that's why I'm playing this one as opposed to the PC or the Commodore 64 version. It's just preference. So as you can see, the moon is about to crash into Earth. That's fuck. We have about three days to fix this. So let, let's get going before we run out of time. We're gonna run out of time soon. All right, so we need to get up and we need to get up in here. So it looks like the door is uh, uh, door's locked. So, you no, know, let's just give up and go home. Let's get let let's actually no, let's get the key under the doormat. They just they literally told us to do that, so we'd be kind of stupid if we didn't. So let's go ahead and pop that door open. Here we go. Oh no, it's spooky time, every gamer. Oh, there's a spooky grandfather clock. It doesn't seem to open, and I'm afraid of it. I'm not gonna look at this anymore. Let's go to the kitchen. All sorts of delicious things in this kitchen. Got me a flashlight. I, I got me a, a, a flashlight. There's a chainsaw. There's blood here. And a chainsaw. And some knives. They're very dull. Uh, don't mind me, I'm not- I'm not creeping forward slowly for any particular reason. No, no particular reason why I'm creeping FORWARD! GET THE FUCK AWAY FROM DAVE! Okay, we're good. Alright. That was the first scary we, we saw all day. Alright, now we can explore a little safer now. So there's some very dull knives here in the chainsaw. We don't want any of that nonsense. Any single one of that nonsense. What do we got here? What do we got in the fridge? Oh boy, look at all these goodies. All these stuff. We got old batteries. Well, I'll get those old batteries. We have some cheese. Delicious. 
some lettuce, a can of Pepsi, broken bottles. Okay, like, well, we just, we just, they're gonna starve. It was pretty effed up of them. So now that we're in here, we should probably get the rest of the kids inside before something bad happens. Or at least some of them. So, let's get Bernard in here. Come on, Bernard. Okay, I want to stow Bernard over over here in this side room. All right, and then Razor, Razor, I'm gonna need you later. So for now, I'm gonna have you stand right here next to the mailbox, just for now. All right, everyone is in place. Dave, let's do our thing. Oh boy. Oh, there's a big table full of all sorts of foods that are probably gross. Oh, okay, what we got here? Got some tentacle chow, I'll get that, why not? There we go. Got a bottle of... a bottle of developer. Let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and spill that all over the grate. Good job. Oh, this man's hungry. Oh, no. Anyway, uh, let's get these canned goods, some glass jars, some fruit drinks. What more could you ask for? Oh, we're locked in. We're gonna frickin' die. All right, Bernard. What can you get done over here? Oh, there's a cassette player. And a radio. Can we turn the radio on? Oh. We're not getting any signal. Let's turn it off. That's lame. Hello? Oh. Uh-oh, we took all the food! There's no cheese for this man! Poor guy. He's gonna be so hungry all Halloween. Oh no. Oh no, it's dark as shit in here. Oh well, let's turn the lamp on. It's a good thing we can just kind of feel feel around in the dark and see a lamp. Ah, this is exactly where Bernard belongs, in the nerd room. What we got here? Oh, the staircase is out of order, gamers. Don't bother trying to use it. Don't bother trying to use it. Alright, we got a phone. Uh, let's let's call the cops. I'm gonna call the police. The phone's broken, everyone. What a shame. Oh, a loose panel. Let's pop. Can we pop that open? Can we open it? Cassette tape. Oh wait, no, I don't want to switch. No, wait, I'm not trying to switch kids. I'm trying to pick up a cassette tape, please. Thank you. Oh yeah. There's Chuck the plant. Can 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 I use him? Can I talk? Can I get Chuck the plant? Can't pick him up. Well, you have a good day, Chuck the Plant. Unless I can- can I read Chuck the Plant? Nope. Oh well, we'll never know more about Chuck the Plant. Never ever. Oh, I got a cassette tape. I don't know what we're gonna do with this cassette tape. We just got a CD player. That's not gonna do me no good. Alright. Careful, Bernard. There was a man here earlier. Just be very careful. Don't run into nobody. All right, got some more rooms to explore. Ooh, bowl of wax fruit. We'll leave that bowl of wax fruit to me. Paint remover, you never know when you'll need that. A paint brush. I don't think I can get this easel. Nope, it looks like somebody was drawing a circle over here. It didn't quite work out. They, they did their best. It's a pixel perfect circle. It's actually pretty impressive to be perfectly honest. Oh, it's the music room. Bernard can't do jack shit here, he's an idiot. Hmm, a broken record, huh? Oops. Wonder what's on this record, let's see. Let's put that on the Victrola and turn that sucker on. Thank you, Ivysaur EG. I like my Twitch name too. Hmm. This broken record sounds like a broken record. What a shame. I wonder what's on TV. Hi, all you budding right, uh, writers, musicians, game designers. I'm Mark Eater. My company publishes anything. Just mail it to the address shown below. Uh, uh, don't forget the stamp. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I guess. I mean, that's that's how you want to. That's how you want to advertise yourself. I ain't going to fight with you. All right. We've watched the TV. We are we're 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 lost. Oh no. Let's desk lamp. Got it. Oh my god! There was a skeleton here all along. Ooh, that's scary. 
How terrifying. Can we read this chart? Yuck, that's disgusting! Ew! Gross! Alright, what we got in here? A manuscript? We're not gonna... We don't have anyone who can make use of a manuscript, so I'm just gonna leave that there. What's a nerd gonna do with a manuscript? Nothing. He's a nerd. Not a dang thing. Ah, here's where the nerds belong. We have a tiny little baby hockey table for infants, and a bajillion video games. Oh. Oh. There's no power. No video games for us tonight. Lame. All right. Let's just head on up here. That's how climbing stairs works, don't worry. Hello. Uh- Oh. It turns out Bernard's a big fucking wussy. He's a big old wuss. And he's afraid of- he's afraid of tentacles. So that's great. <laughs> Alright, Dave. This is up to you. Bernard's too much of a wussy to talk to a tentacle. Too much. Too much of a big old wussy. Did I finish Medieval? Yes, I did. Last weekend, I did it. Meanwhile... Yeah, well, my dear, I hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll all be over. You'll be hooked up to my machine. And getting your pretty brains removed. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. You and your meteor can eat slime. That's what she thinks. <laughs> well, that's that's our babe of a girlfriend we have to rescue. So let's get let's get going. Yeah, let's get going. Got important babes to rescue. It's gotta happen. Yo, Bernard, you should be ashamed of yourself for for being afraid of that of that tentacle. Oh, Taco Bell's trying to text me. I I told them until they want to give me that that sponsorship, they need to stop calling me. All right, here, take this wax fruit, Dave. You're a braver man than I. All right, let's get going up in here. What are you guys talking about? What- what lighting? Alright, here's a tentacle. Oh! Feed me and you can pass. Alright, would you like to eat this, um... Um... Bowl of wax fruit? It's his favorite! He loves wax fruit! Oh, now he's thirsty. Um, d do you like fruit drinks? We did it! We made friends with a tentacle. Good job, everybody. We're tentacle friends. Um, I'm afraid of these doors. I don't remember what's in here, I don't remember what- Oh, we're good. <laughs> I was worried for a second there that, um... That there was gonna be something not good behind that door, but now I remember. Alright, Bernard, get on up there. Get the heck back on up there. Tentacle's gone, you're good. We got places to go and people to hoe. Oh, why don't you go ahead and grab that dime? There's a radio here. Um, I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure it's broken. No, it's not turned on. It's missing a Type W88 vacuum tube available only from Arbitronics. That's why we have the nerd here. He knows how to fix the radio. Oh my. What do we got up here? Oh, right. Bernard's af not afraid anymore. Oh, this tentacle's sad. He just wants to start his band. Poor guy. He just ate a bunch of food out of depression, and now he's really sad. I'm sorry, tentacle. I'm gonna steal your record, if you don't mind. Okay. Alright, record has been stolen. I repeat, the record has been stolen. I'm pretty sure these two middle doors we don't want to fuck with. Let's let's go in. Let's go in here. Oh good, we're safe. Um I don't want to be in here. Let's go in here. We got a lovely lovely family portrait. We got a lovely paint blotch on the wall. And fortunately, what we have is on Bernard. So let's go grab Bernard again. <laughs> Oopsie. I forgot Bernard had the paint stuff. Alright, Bernard here has some paint remover, so let's use this paint remover on the paint blotch... ...to reveal a door! 
I'm so smart. Is there a light in here? Boarded up window? Light! Nice. So here's some broken wires. We can probably fix these wires if we had tools, and if power wasn't running through them. So, I guess we won't worry about that right now. Just won't. Um, let's see. Dave... Dave. What are we gonna do with Dave here? We got a key. I don't remember where we got this. Oh, no, no, I remember. This is for the front door. Okay, now I remember. Okay. I got a plan here. We're gonna take Bernard. Oh, we're gonna take both of them and shove them in this room so that we're a little closer to where we want to be. Alright. Alright, Bernard, I need you to act as bait. You're gonna be our, our bait here. Just go right on in there. You have been... You have been... Uh, you have been... Uh, halted. You're an agent of the evil meteor. Uh-oh. To the dungeon with Bernard. Alright. Now, now while he's busy, let's switch to Dave real quick and pop into his room. Quick. Hurry. We gotta get in here. Hey, okay, quick. We're gonna take his hamster. We're gonna take his, his key card. We're, we're gonna take his piggy bank. We're gonna, we're gonna open the piggy bank. We're gonna take all his money. Now we're getting the hell out of here. Hurry, Dave. Hurry. We just robbed this man blind. We got all his hamster, all his key card, all his dime. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good for ourselves. Unfortunately, Bernard is, is is stuck in prison, so he's gonna fucking die. That's a shame. That's quite unfortunate. Um, okay. And I'm pretty sure we need this cassette tape, so we need to go down and rescue Bernard. Is it safe yet? I think it's safe. The door's closed. All right, we need to rescue Bernard because we need that cassette he's got. So let's get down there. And see what we can do about breaking him out of jail. Don't worry, Bernard. We're on our way. I am ready. I I, I need more people. Okay, Dave. But no, don't move the door. Stand in the door. Razor, I need your help. You can stand next to that mailbox later. Get in here, Razor. And go ahead and do me a favor and push this gargoyle. All right. While Razor is pushing that gargoyle, we will send Dave in. And it's dark as hell in here. Good thing there's a light switch. Good thing there's a light. There's a light switch. All right. We're here in the back in the back room. There's a nuclear reactor. There's a furnace. There's goop. And more importantly, there's a key. Let's grab that thing. Open that fuse box and do nothing with the fuse box cuz I don't want to fuck everything up. And Oh. Um is this the right key? I don't think it is, actually. Don't think this is the key to this door. Let's try it. It's not. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. We can get the key. But first, we need this tape that B Bernard is holding. So, let's find the item. Well, I say item, but it's not an item. Uh, it's a thing in the wall. And we need to lo oh, locate it with our mouse. Uh... Oh, shit! Razor! Razor! I need you! Razor, get out there! Hurry! 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 Hurry, Razor! The package is here! Get the package! Get the whole package! You got it. Okay, you're good, Razor. You're good. Alright, crisis averted. This slowpoke is just now reacting to the doorbell. Yeah. Good luck getting that package, idiot! We just- we just stole from this man. We took his Amazon delivery, and we just took it for ourselves. It's really messed up. It's super messed up. Okay, there's supposed to be a thing... Hmm, I don't know what this sign means. Don't have any idea. Oh, oh, did we find it? I thought I, I thought I saw it. Loose brick! Alright, let's push that loose brick. And that means... Doors open! Oh. 
Aha, uh -huh, he thinks he got Ding Dong ditched, but he doesn't know as we robbed him blind. Uh Bernard, are you okay? Oh no. Actually, can't we just both get out of here now? If, if that's timed, then theoretically we can just leave. Right? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, so we need to get the key to this place so we can get everyone out. But in the meantime, let's give these... These? Let's give these... Cassette tape... And... Record... To Dave. Uh-oh, his daddy's been very strange with his secret project. He hasn't slept in five years. Uh, he carries bodies into the basement at night. Yeah, never mind, no big deal. Okay, um... And then, and then tell you what, Dave, why don't you give all your money to this nerd? It's like a reverse... it's like a reverse... Bullying. We're gonna give our money to the nerd instead of taking the nerd's money. Pretty fucked up. Alright, Dave now has what we need to get the key for this place. So Bernard, I'm gonna need you to push that brick again. I know it's, it's very heavy, and you're not good at pushing things with your little scrawny nerd muscles, but this is what's about to happen. All right, we have all the crap we need. And actually, now that we're... Now that we're done with the outside, we can bring Razor in here to do this. Razor, come on. Make yourself useful. Oh, right. Dave, go let Razor into the mansion. Oh, be ridiculous. There we go. Let's have a quick powwow in the kitchen. All right, let's give all the music-related stuff to Razor. So, we're going to give you... Uh, where's the music stuff? Ah, cassette tape. Give you the record. Give you the hamster. No, not the hamster. I think that's everything. All right. Razor, you have some work to do. All right, so, we need to do some funky things here. Um, we... Okay, right, the cassette tape. We got a cassette tape and we got a record. The record we got from the tentacles room. So, let's play this in the re in the record room, and let's see what it sounds like. First, we have to take the old record off of here. What? Don't give record. Get record. Okay, let's use the new record here. And turn that sucker on. It's horrible! Oh shit, we just broke that vase! Okay, turn that off. Okay, so that sounds horrible. And it broke this glass. So what if we could take this sound and play it in another room? So let's go ahead and use the cassette tape in the cassette recorder. Let's turn on the Victrola and turn on the recorder. It's recording. Okay, we can turn it off now. It stopped recording. Turn off that... Oh. Oh, it's horrible. All right, so we've recorded that high-pitched squeal onto the cassette tape. So now we can play this in another room that has a cassette player. As opposed to a cassette recorder. Ooh. Oh, boy. All right. Get that cassette tape into the cassette player. And turn that sucker on. Oh! God! Oh, breaking the windows! Broke the chandelier! Okay, turn that shit off! Oh, God. Give me that- give me that cassette tape. What? No, get- er, You can't- can't- you can't get the cassette tape? Got it. Alright, and as you can see now, there's a key. So that's exactly what Dave needs to bust, uh, Bernard out of jail. Dave, go get that key. Gonna make you the key master here. There we go. All right, now let's... No, I, I know you can't pick up a door, Dave. I know. And now, we should be able to bust Bernard out completely. So let's try this. 
I'm almost sure that's the right key. Almost. Get in there, Dave. And let's try out this new key on this door. Uh, old rusty key and door. Yes! All right, now Bernard is busted out. Got it. And tell you what, uh, Dave... No, you know what? That's fine, you can hold on to that key. Either way, let's get out of this creepy basement. I don't like it in here. Not one bit. You two, Bernard, get the heck out of there. There we go. Okay, so that is taken care of. Um, let's get Razor to go do some Razor things. Hey, Razor, do you like TV? Do you like to watch TV? Hmm. Hey, it's just this guy again. I'm gonna forget the stamp just to piss him off. All right. So, now, cool thing about Razor is she's a musician. So let's take our cassette tape, pop it into the cassette recorder, turn it on, and now let's use this piano. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! This is so jazzing. Damn. Yeah, go off. Yeah, go off. Nice. All right, let's let's turn off the the cassette recorder now. Uh Now that we have a nice recording of our song. There we go. That sounds great. Let's go share this song with our with our new friend, the the Tentacle. I'm sure he'd love to love to chat with a fellow musician and talk about musics together. How are you supposed to know that you can do these things? Um, that that's not how point and click games work. <laughs> You're not supposed to know how to do anything. You're just supposed to struggle with it and bang your head against the wall and be miserable. All right, so let's use the cassette tape in his Mondo stereo and turn this thing on Hear that? Oh, he loves it Wow Poor guy, but here's his here's his demo tape I'll take your demo tape I don't want that key, but he's in the way. So we have his demo tape now. I wonder what it sounds like. Let's go listen to it. Maybe it's good stuff. Maybe this is some real good demo tapes. I can't wait to hear what kind of music this tentacle makes. I wonder what the genre is. I bet it's a real good genre. This is not the cassette player room. The cassette player room is downstairs. You big dope. Big dang dope. All right, let's listen to this demo tape. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm trying to... I'm trying to ascertain what the genre of music is. I can't figure it out. Is this... is this K-pop? 
I don't like K-pop. Give me that tape. Now we picked up this package. Let's let, let's try to open the package. Oh, oh, we got a whole bunch of stamps off of it. Well, that's weird. Let's, let's give this package back to Dave. There you go. All right, Dave. Now that you have this package, now that you have a very nice package, let's go and um, return it to its owner. It would be wrong of us to steal a package. Would I rather have Twitter free of Todd or free of K-pop stance? Take a guess, Orange Xenon. Take a guess. All right. I I know a man who really needs this package delivered. I know one. And I think he's in here. I am here. Um, excuse me, is, is this your hamster? Oh, it's a heartwarming reunion. Granted, we're the one who stole the hamster from him, but, um... It's still a heartwarming reunion. Anyway, um, now that we're- now that we're friends and best buddies, let's give him his package back. Here you go, buddy. You been looking for this? Oh, it's his commando package. Oh, no. Well, Weird Ed, um... I, I'll gladly... I'll gladly help you with, with your crazy dad, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you your, your plans, to be perfectly honest. I just don't think that's happening this time. Anyway... Anyway... We are now best buddies with... With Ed. With Weird Ed. We are best buddies. Let's go do some other nonsense in this in this frickin' castle mansion. I forgot the name of the building we're in. Razor, get up there. We have stuff to do, Razor. Alright, what we got in what we got in here? Let's see what's in the sarcophagus. Open the sarcophagus, please. There we go. Ooh, it's a pillow. I'll take that. What? No. Wrong button. Wrong hotkey. Oh, I guess I can use the pillow. Can I watch this TV? Oh man. This sarcophagus stinks. Let's use the hunk -o matic machine. Yeah. Yeah, get buff, Razor! Get buff! Get buff! Get real buff! Are you buff yet, Razor? Alright. Razor is now buff as shit. She has muscles for miles. She could pick up an entire goddamn car because of how buff she is. Holy shit. God damn. Razor, how you get so buff? That's crazy. That's nuts. Razor, go be buff somewhere else. Sorry, I'm polishing off my orange monster energy drink. <laughs> I think it's done. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these bushes, and let's rip open this grating off the side of the house. <laughs> Easy for muscles, Razor. There we are. So there's the pot, the puddle of developer that um, Dave spilled earlier. What a goddamn klutz! And here we have a water valve that we're not gonna fuck with right now, because we don't have a reason to. Alright, Dave, what we got in the bathroom here? Sponge? I mean, I guess I'll get the sponge. I don't need a sponge. Can we open this toilet? Is there anything in here? Can we flush the toilet? I flushed the toilet. Are you proud of me? I'm- I'm- I'm running- I'm wasting water, are you proud of me? I'm opening the- the curtain, are you proud of me? Mommy! Oh! Okay. Now, we can't- we cannot turn on this faucet, cause, uh, the handle's missing. God damn. God freaking heck. Well, what can you do? Not a thing. Alright, Dave, enough nonsense. Let's get downstairs. 
Go right down them stairs. We have business in the in the in the, the foyer. I don't know what the foyer is. I don't know what a foyer is. And get back in that kitchen, Dave. That's where you belong. Yeah, that's right, Dave. Get in that kitchen and make me a cheeseburger. I just noticed these... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, they don't have a stove! It's right here, you fucking idiot. God damn. How does one man get so stupid? Anyway. Let's try out a few of these keys on this door. Um... We will try the silver key. Got it! Ah, uh, oh, they have a pool? Neat! Oh, we got back here. This must be the garage. Can we open this, this sucker? Ugh. Maybe Razor can do it with her enormous muscles. Anyway, um... I'm not going in this- in this swimming pool. I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. Razor, can you, um... Can you go ahead and turn that water valve? Just turn off the water valve. Did that work? It did not work. Hold on. Razor, please turn off the water valve. Turn on the water valve? There we go! Okay. Ooh. I hear the water going. Oh no! The pool is empty again! We're going to have another meltdown- Meltdown, what? Why does the pool being empty cause a meltdown? What are you doing with this pool? The meteor is going to be mad. Oh, he has- he has, he has two tentacles. Gee, Fred, how come your mom lets you have two tentacles? Okay, uh, Dave, pool's empty. Get in there. We don't have much time. We really don't have much time. Okay, okay, um, get, get this, get the glowing key. Get, get this radio. Get the fucking exposed cooling rods to a nuclear reactor! Um, no, I mean, I mean, go, go back up. Go, go back, get the pool shit. No, no, go back up. Uh oh, that's not a good sound. That's a, that's a bad sound. Oh boy, he turned the lights off. We're in big trouble. Oh. Hold on a second, I want to save my game real quick. Hold on one sec, I want to save my game real quick. There we go. That's a good, that's a good name for a save, if I do say so myself. Successfully saved the game. And you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna push this red button. I'm gonna push this button. I pressed it. The house and everyone within a five-mile radius has been destroyed in a massive nuclear meltdown. Yeah, so we just blew up the nuclear reactor and uh, caused a nuclear explosion and everyone's dead! Press B button to play again. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> Let's load our safe. <laughs> Let's not press the red button. Yeah, for some reason, the, that button in the pool uh, causes the nuclear reactor to explode. Oh, right. Um, we should turn the water back on so the uh, so the reactor doesn't go critical. It's probably a good idea. Probably. All right, Razor, there was a really heavy garage door back here that little baby Dave can't open, so you you and your enormous muscles are gonna have to take care of it. it you're just gonna have to take care of this, Razor. All right, pop that sucker open. We have a faucet handle. You know what, let's let, let Dave deal with this garbage. Dave, get back here. All right, get that f get open. Get that faucet handle. Okay, can we open this trunk? 
It's a lot. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. The orange monster energy drink is trying to come out of my body. Uh, glowing key. Is this glowing key for the uh, the trunk? It's not. Oh man, we don't have the trunk to this car. Trunk to this car. The key to this car. Trunk to this car. What the fuck? Anyway, we'll have to find a, a car key somewhere else. All right, let's get on up here. We have a whole bunch of new cool shit. Does anyone remember where I left Bernard? I kind of forgot about him. Not gonna lie, I've completely forgotten about Bernard. Probably for the best. He's kind of a nerd. Not gonna lie. A bit of a nerd. A bit of a freaking nerd. A bit of a gosh dang nerd. Alright, we're gonna get stationed up in here. And let's... Oh, hey, crazy head. Let's... Razor, I'm gonna need your help this time. Razor and Dave, we have to pull off a little heist in Edna's room. So let's go and take care of this. Alright, come on, Razor, you can move faster than that. Probably not. She probably can't move faster than that. I mean, that's a really tight-fitting dress she's wearing. I and, and she has heels on. I'm surprised she can move this fast as it is. To be perfectly honest. She's doing pretty good. She's doing pretty good. Alright, we're both holed up here in, uh, Weird Ed's room. Dave? Dave, you can be the bait. Get on in there. She got you. All right, Razor, while, while, while she's still on her way, get in there and steal all the shit. All right, we're gonna get the perfume. We're gonna, we're gonna open the desk. We're gonna, we're gonna get the perfume. We're gonna get the small key. Get the damn perfume! Fine, forget it. Let's just, just, just go upstairs. Just go upstairs. No! Get away from me! Oh, God! Did, did I get away from her? I'm scared. I'm scared as shit. Also, it's really dark in here. <laughs> uh, is there a light in here? I'm pretty sure this is one of the ra Oh, wait, no, I found it. About to say, I'm pretty sure this is one of the rare locations where I do need a flashlight. Because you're not supposed to feel around like this with your mouse. Okay, well, weird thing about the NES version that doesn't happen in the other versions, the PC versions, is when you mouse over something, it'll tell you what the name is. But in the PC version, it doesn't do that unless you explicitly click on it. So in the NES version, you can almost feel around in the dark to find items like the light. What the game wants you to do is put batteries in the flashlight when it's dark. But we're, we're cheaters. We just feel around in the dark. Alright, there's a wall safe back here, but we don't know the code. Um, and we're also kind of trapped up here. Oops. Dave, I need you to rescue Razor. <laughs> Where is my rusty key? Help! Help, it's dark! I can't see! I'm scared! We're good! Alright, get back on up in there. Alright, so now we have to rescue Razor from, um, from Edna's room. And then, I think we got most of the crap we need. The, the, the problem here is we still need to... Actually, let me... Now that I think of it, maybe we don't need to... Okay, my, wait, my brain is turning. My brain is turning. I don't think we need to rescue Razor yet, actually. Okay, okay, brain is working. We're not rescuing... We're not rescuing her yet. Dave, get back downstairs. It's not rescue time yet. I love how this specific area just has, like, CGA colors. You have cyan and magenta and white and black. No reason for it to have CGA colors. The NES is clearly capable of more than CGA colors, but here we are in the CGA hallway. 
CGA, EGA, I, I don't know, I get those mixed up. Okay, so... Stuff we need to do. This room is pretty much useless, I think. There's literally nothing we can do in the dining room. It's just here for flavor. It's a flavor dining room. Alright, so I think we have a glass jar. We do. Let's use this glass jar in this radioactive pool water. Alright, now we have a jar full of radioactive pool water. So let's go cause mischief with radioactive water. By the way, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure Dave is gonna fucking die in like... five to ten years. From entering, uh... From entering that, that pool water. Like, let's be honest, he is, um... He's kind of fucked now. He's kind of fucked now. That's a great idea, Deadly Spaghetti. We should drink this radioactive water, but but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the... Here's the thing. Dave prefers hot drinks. He does not like drinking cold water. So he, so let's let's warm up. Let's warm up the radioactive pool water first. Let's put the jar of water in the microwave. Let's close that microwave and let's turn it on. Let's let's heat up that 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 pool water so Dave can have a delicious hot beverage. It'll be delicious. Ah, our hot radioactive pool water is ready. Ah, oh, radioactive steam! Oh no! Dave's dead. We just killed Dave. He's dead. Dave's dead. Bernard's fine. Razor's fine. Dave's dead. Let this be a lesson, kids. Do not microwave radioactive pool water. Very dangerous. All right. No, no drink. No, no delicious hot beverages for Dave. Let's get up here and do what we're supposed to do. I, uh... I, I missed that Colonel Panic. I, I forgot to do it. <clears throat> for, forgot to do it. But now that I think of it, hold on. Let me go back to an earlier save for just a moment. Nope. I d Sorry, I didn't save when I had the chance to do that. Colonel Panic. My bad. My bad. Yeah, um, instead of returning the hamster to Weird Ed, you could also put the hamster in the in the microwave and blow it the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> That's an option. <laughs> it was a very controversial option. But it is an option. Alright, back to the side room here. So there's there's a little there's a little little plant. Little plant here. It's pretty good. Um, I bet this plant is very thirsty, so let's give him a jar of radioactive pool water. You can't reach it. This jar of water with pot for plant. Wow! He's so big and healthy now! I bet he's thirsty. I bet he's a thirsty boy. Let's give this thirsty boy... ...a can of Pepsi. Here you go, buddy. One can of Pepsi for the thirsty boy. There. He's very gassy now, poor guy. Alright, Bernard, you have all these dimes. Get on up there. Did it have a seizure? No, it, it, it's, um... It, it had a delicious can of Pepsi, and now he's full of gassy full of gassy gas, and he's just gonna chill out, and he's gonna burp for a while. He's having a great time. Every, every, everyone loves a Pepsi. Who wouldn't love to have a Pepsi? I can think of nothing better right now than having a delicious Pepsi. Alright, Bernard, get up there. We climbed the plant like a, like a vine. Can I read this? Hmm. 
All right, so let's use this really powerful telescope. What do we got here? Mmm, it's beautiful. Okay, um, I'm gonna pop down a save here because I... Because I, I forgot if it... if we can fail this easily. So here's the thing. Right now, this really powerful telescope... is just pointing off at some tree and some stars. We don't want to look at there. We have to look a different way, so we have to turn this. But to turn it, we have to use this panel with left and right buttons. But if we just go ahead and try to push a button, it doesn't rotate. You know why? As a coin slot. It's coin-operated. So... <laughs> I don't know why he has a coin-operated telescope in his mansion, but that's all... That's, that's what we're working with. So let's use this dime in the coin slot. And now let's push one of these buttons. Let's try the left button. Rotating. Rotating. And let's take a look, see where we're looking. Oh my gosh! Oh! I'm terrified. Um, do I need another dime? Okay, I just push it again. Not real. Okay, we'll use another dime. We will use the dime in the coin slot. And let's give it another push to the left. Okay, so left was the wrong direction. Now, I'm not sure, but I don't know if we have enough dimes to turn it in the correct direction. So, we'll try it anyway. Okay, so now we should be looking at that tree again. It's a tree. Okay. The reason I saved is because I'm not sure if we have enough dimes to turn it the wrong direction and then into the right direction. I'm not sure. We're gonna try it anyway, use the dime in the coin slot, and let's push that right button. Now let's look. Hmm, that's the house. Now, if we, if we turn it one more to the right... What will we see? Zero, one, two, zero. Hmm, and a spooky spider. Zero, one, two, zero. So, Razor's over here. And there's a wall safe here. Let, let, let's try to open this. Zero, one, two, zero. That was the code to the wall safe. And here we got an envelope. Well, let's get that. There we go. We now have an envelope. Uh, I'm not 100% sure Warp Track, but I th think the code is different every playthrough. Anyway, um, so we got the safe open, but Razor's still stuck in Edna's attic, so we need to rescue her. So let's have Dave go in and rescue her. Um, Colonel Panic, if you run the Maniac Mansion NES ROM inside a Scum VM, it, it'll give you mouse control, full mouse control in the NES version. All right, Dave is our decoy so that we can get Razor out of here. Can people die in this game? Ooh, <laughs> you you missed some good moments, Melodici. You missed some good moments. <laughs> oh, that's right, Colonel Panic. The NES version did not have mouse control. This is just because we're running it in Scum VM. Okay, Razor, hurry up, get out of here. All right, we got out of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the old key on the door and get the heck out of here. We have rescued Razor. We got that envelope. Did all the things. Uh, what do I want to do with Dave? Dave, go in the kitchen where you belong. All right, Razor, where are you? Here you are. Is it safe out here? But it's safe, the door's closed. All right, so Razor has retrieved an envelope. Now, everyone... Everyone who was ever a kid should know that you can't just open someone else's mail 
without them finding out. Life doesn't work that way. If, if, if you want to open someone's mail and get away with it, you need to, you need to be a little crafty. A little bit crafty with that envelope. Because you can't just rip that envelope open, that won't work. That, it just, it won't work. So, Dave, please give the, uh, please give that empty jar to Razor. Alright, Razor, we're gonna be a little, little crafty here. Here we go, let's turn on the faucet. And let's fill the glass jar with some water. Use glass jar with water. There we go, we have a jar of water. And this time, the water is not radioactive. I promise that sink water is not radioactive in most states. Not all of them, just most states. All right. Now we're gonna, we're gonna take this jar of water and put it in the microwave. And we're also gonna take that envelope and put it in the microwave. We have an envelope and a jar of water. Just go ahead and close that door and run the microwave for a bit so we can boil that water up and let some steam come out. Let some steam come off of that boiled water, and... Now we have... a steamy envelope, which means... We can open it, and still have an envelope, because we didn't have to rip it up. We steamed the glue open, and now we've opened the envelope, and we have the quarter. There we go. Get the jar of water. Oh! Uh, don't get the jar of water, it's actually boiling. Oops. All right, so now we have a perfectly good envelope that we steamed open. We have some stamps, and you know what else we have? We have the, um, we have the Slimes demo tape, so why don't we... Why don't we put that demo tape inside of the envelope? And let's use the stamp on that envelope. They stick! All right, so let's, let's, let's go ahead and let's, um... I fucked up. 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 You know why I fucked up? Now, now let me just tell you. At that point, what I was trying to do, it was over. It was done. I couldn't do what I was trying to do because I fucked up. You know what I didn't do? I just steamed open an envelope. I put a cassette in there. I put stamps on it, and I was going to go try to mail it. You know where I fucked up? What happens if you mail an envelope with no address on it? Nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing. We had to put an, uh, an address on there. So... Let's fix our mistake. <laughs> uh, right, we have to push it one more time. And that's the thing about these early point-and-click games. If you miss one little thing or do one tiny thing wrong, you're fucked. And that's what happened the last time I tried to stream this. I, I forgot one thing. And then at the end sequence, I died because I forgot that one thing. That's how these games work. <laughs> uh. Alright, give me that envelope. And now we have to rescue Razor again. Don't worry about Orange Xenon, we don't, we don't really need those dimes that badly. I've never played Dark Seed Warp Drek. Um, the name is familiar, but I've not. I'm going the wrong way. I've not played it, and I don't even know what it's about. All right, let's rescue Razor again. Oh boy, I got a lot of gas from drinking that orange monster. It's just bubbling up in my gut. Ooh. All right, Razor, come on, let's get out of here. Got a lot, of, a lot of important things to do, Razor. Okay. 
All right, Dave, we need to get you into the kitchen so we can repeat this process. Rusty key in the door. You're gonna need some proof that it's Halloween. Well, Krung Man, I mean, look, look at what we're playing. We're in a spooky mansion. I just broke out of a, 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 a spooky uh, a dungeon. Here's a spooky nuclear reactor. How, how does it get more Halloween than this? It doesn't. This is the most Halloweenest it's ever been. Exactly. Slime drip on floor. Very scare. Alright, is it safe? It is. Let's try this again. You know, Colonel Panic, I was considering playing the, uh, quote-unquote new Sam and Max episodes after I played the original one on stream. I still might do it at some point. I haven't done it yet, but I might do it at some point in the future. Alright, Dave, go ahead and give that... Uh, Jar, back to Razor. There we go. Let's save. <laughs> let's, let's... Let's save, oopsie. <laughs> Just in case. Okay. Fun fact, um... The, you, you could try to do this whole mess with the wrong water. If you want. Here we go. You know what? Let's do this again just for those who missed it the first time. Let's use this glass jar to get this swimming pool water. Ooh, for those who missed it, there's a nuclear reactor being cooled by this swimming pool. It's like right at the bottom of that pool, there's a nuclear reactor cooling rod. So now we have a jar full of nuclear water. Now we have a jar full of nuclear water. So let's go ahead and put that nuclear water in here with the envelope, and let's, let's just try to steam open the envelope with nuclear water. Let's see what happens. Sounds like a great time. Radioactive steam. Razor's dead. She's fucking dead. She can't reach it because she's dead. So that's why you don't do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dave. Yeah, Dave was fine. He was. Dave was over here. He 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 closed his nose. He's good. All right. Let's do this the right way. So turn that turn that faucet on. Use the glass jar with the not radioactive water. And let's steam that envelope open. Uh, where is it? Envelope. Close that sucker up and turn that sucker on. All right. Got our open envelope that we can just pop right on open. Get the quarter out and we have a perfectly good envelope. All right, we'll leave that boiling hot water in there because I don't want to touch it with our fingies. And now we need to... <laughs> now we need to actually write on the envelope. How many versions of this game are there? A decent amount, Project Manatees. I mean, I believe, I could be wrong. I believe it started on the Commodore 64. Eventually it got ported around. I know it was ported to the Apple II. It was ported to, of course, the NES that we're looking at right now. It was ported to PC, MS-DOS. It was ported, yeah, what Colonel Panic said. It was ported to most, um, most home consoles. Uh, not, I'm sorry, most home computers. Oh, and funny thing, we're playing the NES version right now, right? We're playing the NES version. This also had a, a Japanese version on the NES, you know, a, a, a Famicom version. You think they went ahead and just translated the game? And, you know, and threw, and threw it on the Famicom? You think that's what they did? No. No, that's not what they did. Let me show you what they did. Let me show you what they did. This is- this is the Famicom version of the game. They just made the game again. It's a completely different engine. And everyone's a Japanese anime now. Why would they do that? Why didn't they just translate it and if they wanted, redraw the characters? No, they recoded the whole game. It's an entirely different engine. Like, completely 100% different. Why? Why did they do that? 
I don't understand. <laughs> they could have just translated it, and if they wanted to redraw stuff, they still could have redrawn stuff. I don't know. Japanese people are silly. One of these days I should try to- I should try to play and beat that version, because I've never done it. <laughs> anyway, um, right. Envelope. We have to- we have to address this envelope to somewhere. Let's go ahead and address this envelope. There we go, we got a typewriter in here, so let's use the envelope with the typewriter. And she's typing the publisher's address. There we go, now we have an envelope addressed. Well, let's read it. It's addressed to the uh, publisher that we saw on TV who'll publish anything. So let's put the... Let's put the uh, tentacles demo tape in the addressed envelope. And let's use the stamps on the addressed envelope. And now let's go, let's go mail the, uh, Tentacles demo tape to the publisher who will publish anything. There we go. The Aladdin games are different? Are you sure about that, Shingo? I, I don't think that's... I don't think that's the case. I've not heard of that. Okay, let's pop open that mailbox, and let's put the... ...stamped envelope in here, and let's... ...close the mailbox. No, close the... ...mailbox. Do I not have to close it? Oh, no, here we go. And let's lift up the little flag. No, no. Pull the flag. There we go. We had the little flaggy up so the mailman knows that we have a letter that needs to be delivered. All right. I hope the mailman gets here soon. I don't want to wait too long. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I mean, I know that, the Amazing Hammer. The SNES and Genesis versions of Aladdin are different. Yeah, that I'm aware of. I'm... I'm that I'm aware of. Now, I know it's an unpopular opinion for one reason or another. I don't know why, but personally, I'm a bigger fan of the Super Nintendo version. Like, I, I, I fully admit that the Genesis version has better graphics and animation that looks beautiful. Mostly because it was drawn by literal Disney animators. But I feel like the gameplay kind of sucks ass on the Genesis version. The Super Nintendo is... just plays better. It makes sense, it was, you know, classic Capcom. Alright, let's give the small key to Dave. He's gonna be our key holder. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna shut down the power. Uh-oh, we're having a, a mar marital spat. Uh-oh. Oh no, they're drifting apart. This is so sad. Alright, Dave, come on. We have stuff to do. Now that we have a little key, I'm pretty sure we can open... Uh, ...the trunk of the car. It doesn't work, really? Can we just open it with our hands? Trunk is... Is this really not the right key? I could have sworn that was the right key! Really? That's weird! I really could've sworn that was the right key! Huh! Okay, um... I don't know- I don't remember where else there's any keys in this game, though! <laughs> That's a problem! I don't remember where that key is! What the fuck? How do I not remember this?
Where the hell is the key? I, I'm completely frazzled. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm genuinely like, I, I don't know what to do now. What the fuck? Where's that key? I kind of want to get in. I, I, I think I need to get in there. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really thrown off now. I'm like super thrown off. Hold on. Maniac Mansion car key. I could have sworn. Oh, bye, Lars Chumpy. Thanks for joining us. I could have sworn. Sworn. That it was the small key. I could have sworn. Let's see. Let's see. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. I'm a dumbass. Okay, no, we're good, guys. I'm actually, I'm on the way to getting the key. I've already done what we need to do to get the key. So we're good. I'm just being stupid as hell. I'm getting ahead of the, the game, you know? Like a big dummy. Okay, um, let's see, Razor. Razor has a quarter. I want to give this quarter to Bernard. Where's Bernard? Oh shit, he's all the way up here. Razor, let's get going. Let's get going up here. You know, I, I'm jumping ahead of, of the, the order of the game. I, I'm actually already on the right path. I'm just doing stupid stuff. Oh, head on up there, Razor. Wait, was it in here? No, it's not in here. Where did I put Bernard? Bernard's over here. There we go. Okay, have this quarter, Bernard. You'll probably need it. Yes, thank you for burping at me. So this is the... It's all coming together, don't worry. Don't ask me how this, this sideways, this regular door brings us to a, a hatch. I, I don't fully understand it myself. Just, just don't worry about it. It works, it's real. Spooky skeleton right here, it's real. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, so I, hmm. What? Oh. oh, this guy looks familiar. A cassette tape! Now where's the play button? Wonderful! Outrageous! Awesome! This will be a mega hit! I'll sign them right away now! Oh boy. Green Tentacle is gonna be psyched! Yeah, this man loves K-pop. Alright, Razor. Let's go see let's go see if let's go see how quick how quick the US postal system works in this in this alternate universe. Let's see if, if they've mailed us our contract yet. That, come on, go through the, the EGA room with the magenta and cyan colors. Get right on down there. See, is it here yet? Is it here yet? Is it here? Let's, it's not here. Nope. Okay, we still gotta wait a little while. <sighs> Man, I hate waiting for the mail. Okay, where's Dave? Here he is. Can we get this jar yet? Oh, it cooled off. Oh, by the way, we, we were talking about Aladdin earlier and how the Genesis and SNES versions are different. One weird thing about Aladdin is bootleggers seem to love Aladdin. Like, they love the game. Like, there's that bootleg port to the NES of the Super Nintendo version that's surprisingly, surprisingly good for a bootleg. And then, you know, there's the there's also the official port of the Genesis version to the NES, which was done, you know, officially. And it sucks, it's horrible, it's garbage. 
I want to say there's also a bootleg port of the Genesis version to the NES, but I don't remember. It's not memorable to me. But... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Uh-oh. Okay, um, bad news. Uh... They turned off the lights. Hold on. Radio, quick, o open this radio. Batteries, okay, let's use the batteries from the radio. We're gonna use it in our flashlight. There we go. Now we should have a flashlight. And this is how we were supposed to be doing the dark areas. <laughs> we were cheating by feeling around. Let's turn off the flashlight. I don't want to waste our batteries. Anyway, so, so like I was saying earlier, bootleggers have also, confusingly enough, ported the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin to the Sega Genesis. And bootleggers have ported the Sega Genesis version of Aladdin to the Super Nintendo. <laughs> so it's just a big mess. You want to play Aladdin? Have fun. Play whatever the fuck version you want. Have at it. Whatever. It's dark. Help. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. The mail's not here yet. So right now, we're kind of stuck waiting for, um... Waiting for, for that... Waiting for that letter to come in the mail. I don't think we can really proceed until the letter gets here. So we're kind of stuck. Um... I guess I can get Dave and Bernard together to trade some items, though. Yeah, let's go do that. Is it here? Is it here? It's here! It's here! We got it! It's the contract! Oh boy! Razor, you have to give it to Green Tentacle! He's gonna be so excited, it's dark! Help me. Very dark. I'm scared. Oh... I can't see my- I can't see my ham in front of my face. Oh, boy. Uh, door, door! Okay, uh, let's just wait here until the power comes back on. Um, Dave, let's get you up there as well. The, uh, for anyone curious how I'm navigating in the dark, I just have this game memorized. Really all it is, I just have the entire <laughs> game memorized in my head. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no, not in the door. I want to go all the way over here. There's Bernard. Okay, give that flashlight to Bernard. Eh, thank you for burping at me, plant. Um, and now... Razor. So we need the lights to come on because Okay, to be honest, we don't need the lights to come on, but But the lights should be on, you know? They kinda should. If we wanna can I I could probably Is there a speedrun category for this game for playing it in the dark? Because I wouldn't enter in it because that would be dumb. Is there, is there a game genie code to make it so this game is always in the dark, and then I can see if I can beat it completely in the dark, blindfolded? I want to say I might actually have a decent chance of doing it. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I might be able to beat this game in the dark. That's kind of weird, but I might actually be able to do it. Damn, I wish those lights were on! You know what, Dave? Well, no. I was about to say, Dave, go turn the lights on, but to be honest, we would need two people down there. And by the time we get two people down there, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure the lights will be back on, because they're not off for an extended period of time. They're not. You know? They're just not. W while we're still on the subject of Aladdin, 
I was pretty disappointed that that Switch compilation of Aladdin and the Lion King had the Genesis version. Like, like I said, I prefer the Super Nintendo version. But I understand why. Because the Super Nintendo version is Capcom, and the, the two games they did put on there were made by the same company. It, it would have been a licensing nightmare to get the Super Nintendo version. I did think it was super cool how they actually, like... ...did, like, a... They put in some unfinished content into that version of the game, the Switch version of, of Aladdin on the Genesis. Like, they actually put in some missing stuff, some missing enemies. They were, they were cut from the game and they included a prototype version. Hey, lights are on. And if you enter the debug code in their, their new version, it actually, you know, normally the debug code takes to a screen with, with options and it shows you the compile date. And the compile date is even updated. You can tell they actually had the source code and like, fixed it. It's, it's really kind of cool. I, I disagree, Jim Sticky. I, I really think the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin is just better. Anyway, lights are back on. Let's go ahead and give the contract to... Poor Depressed Green Tentacle. Here you go, Green Tentacle, it's yours. It's a recording contract for you. It's great! GT in the suction cups, oh boy. Oh boy, he's so psyched! Now we're best buddies with Green Tentacle. Great. Now I can get the yellow key. Fun fact. Um. Fun fact. Remember how earlier we took our cassette tape and we recorded Razor playing piano? You could also, instead of sending Green Tentacle's uh, demo tape to the to the publisher, you could send Razor's tape to the publisher, and the publisher will send Razor back. A, a contract, and if you show Razor's contract to Green Tentacle, he gets really mad and jealous, and then he kills you. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, Dave. So... Uh oh. Uh, this is kind of weird. I, I don't- I don't like tentacles chasing around scantily clad babes. It makes me uncomfortable. Alright, Razor, go ahead and give that key to, um... ...to Dave. So the reason I'm giving every key to Dave... ...is because I'm pretty sure the last time I played this game and I failed on stream... ...I'm pretty sure the reason I failed was because I was... One of the most important keys was not on Dave. So I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen this time around. I don't want to fail because I had the- I didn't have the right key. That would stink. A lot. A whole lot. Oh boy. Anyway, um, speaking of, like, ROM- not ROMs, uh, well, yes, ROMs. Speaking of- Recompilations, new versions of old games. The, the the Mario collection, the Mario 3D collection. Um, as most of you know, Mario 64 is just the Japanese Shindo version with an English uh, translation overlaid on it. And that English translation is being applied not by a ROM hack. They didn't hack the ROM. It's being applied with um, Lua scripting, so it's like, on the fly, as the game is being emulated, it's applying that translation patch. And there's a rumor that the reason that Nintendo did it that way, with a real-time, you know, patch as opposed to a ROM hack, is specifically so you can't extract the ROM from the game, the patch to translate a ROM from the game and play it on an emulator. That, the rumors, that's why they did it that way. So you can't take the ROM and use it wherever you want. That kind of makes sense. Kind of. But it also kind of makes me think that Nintendo's a prick. Let's open this trunk. And we got some tools. Let's get the tools. And we're gonna have to give these tools to Bernard, who is gonna need them in a second here. Uh, where is Bernard?
I mean, more importantly than- Well, I mean, maybe Colonel Panic, but at the same time... Who the fuck would want- would willingly play the Shindo version of Mario 64, where all the fun glitches were removed, you know? <laughs> like, there's very little ver there's very little reason to play the Shindo version of Mario 64. Very little reason. There's very little advantage you get to playing that version. I can't think of a single situation where I would want to play that version. Um, okay, Dave, give those tools to Bernard. Where are they? Tools. There we go. Alright, Bernard, you got them tools. Let's get on up there. Get right on up there. We have all the tools that, that all the fools would need. Right up in here. Excuse me, burping plant. We haven't saved the game in a while. We haven't saved the game in a while. We haven't saved the game in a while. There we go. Alright, so now Bernard has tools. So let's use these tools to fix these broken wires. These are live wires. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of saved the game here because I I assumed that trying to repair the wires while the power was on would kill us. I was really hoping Bernard was just gonna die. That's very disappointing. I'm very disappointed in you, Lucas Arts. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Missed opportunity. Zero out of ten, LucasArts. I'm gonna call George Lucas, and I'm gonna fucking kick his ass. Oh shit, Dave needs to get in here. Um, quick, Dave, get captured by Edna. That's gonna be the quickest way, so we don't have to have another guy come down here. This might not even be the quickest way. I might be being dumb. I might be being stupid. Um, Lucius, that's a good question. Um, I don't, mm, I'm not sure if puzzly games are great for my streams. I mean, I'm technically doing one right now, I guess, but I'm, I'm not sure if Lost Vikings would make a great stream. I don't know. I'm on the fence about that one. I love the Lost Vikings, but I'm, I'm not sure if it would make a good stream. Yeah, not sure. Okay, so is Bernard in position? He is. Alright, Dave, go ahead and cut the power. Alright, Bernard, we gotta move quick. Let's turn... Oh. Uh-oh, he's upset. Why does turning off the power cause a meltdown? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Okay, we have to work quick here. Let's turn on the flashlight, and we're gonna head over to these wires, and we're gonna fix the wires with the tools. By the way, if Bernard didn't have a flashlight with batteries, he would not be able to fix the tools right now. The game would specifically tell you you can't do it. All right, quick, Dave. Turn on the circuit breakers, and let's get out of here before Purple Tentacle gets here. All right, the wires are fixed, so that means um, the power should be on in a few different rooms here. Do we still have the tools? I think we do. Yeah, we have the tools. It wouldn't make sense for the tools to disappear after using them once, but, you know, just, you never know with these kind of games. All right, let's use these tools. No, let's use the tools to open up the coin box. Did that, did that work? Open coin box. Oh, I remember now! 
I remember now, it's not the tools to open the, the, the coin box, it's the key! One of those keys we picked up opens that, that coin box. Um, Colonel Panic, what are your lunch options? What are you, what are you debating? If you would, if you were to cook lunch, what would you cook? Because that matters a lot. Okay, I, bl I believe we have to use the small key on these, uh, coin boxes. Here we go. Small key in the coin box. Nothing in there right now. Okay. Raviolis and fish sticks? Ravioli sounds pretty good. Not gonna lie. None of these have any, uh, any coins in them right now, it looks like. Yep. Nothing. Oh well. Maybe, maybe there'll be coins in there later. By the way, I'm pretty sure these machines all work now. Sorry, can I use it? I'm pretty sure you have to put a quarter in to use these, and I don't want to waste my money. Get out of here, Dave. Get lost, Dave. Okay, oh, a high Bernard. Okay, weighing my options. Looking at the skeleton, weighing my options here. I'm wondering if we have what we need to beat the... No, we don't. We don't have what we need to beat the game yet, technically, because... And I'll tell you why. Um... No, in fact, I'll show you why. Let, let's, let's, let's go and... Let me go and show you why right now. Let's get back up here. We're going up so we can get down. Excuse me, Edna, I need an escort to the dungeon, please. In the non-NES versions of this game, when Edna throws one of the kids in the dungeon, she talks about strapping them to her bed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. I have a hunch that the secret lab is behind this door. Um, so we can go ahead and use this glowing key in the pet. Professor Dave is playing Meteor Mess. So we can go ahead and use the glowing key on the padlock. And the other one. And then we can open the door. But here there's a there's a keypad. We need to know the code to get in here. So now that um Professor Professor Fucker finished playing his video game, we can play the video game. So let's go ahead and use our quarter on Meteor Mess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I love Meteor Mess. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure cuz I don't recognize those 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 initials. Um I'm pretty sure that one of these is the code. Okay, so so that that first one there. Uh, can I pause? Anyway, I'm assuming that the uh, the f the first one. Hold on, okay. okay. Pause is space. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Great, thanks. Covering the screen, Walker. I think the first one is the doctor's high score, because it begins with a D. I don't remember, though. 75-72. 75-72. So... Dave, let's try that out. Let's try that out. That opens the door. That opens the door, it does. But what if we didn't know the code? But 
what if we did not know the code? Let's brute force this code. I'm sure we can get through here. We're hackers. We're, we're, we're elite hackers. We know all the cool codes that, that could possibly open this door. We're experts. Let me in! I'm going in! Um... I might be thinking of a different door. I think I'm thinking of a different door. Okay. Alright, so neat thing. Uh, weird thing, but neat thing. Let me see if I can find it one sec. Hold on. Okay, you see how if I hover here it says keypad? So in the PC versions of this game, this door right here... Hold on, let me close it. What? What? You see how- you see how I can't close the door? How it's not letting me interact with it? So in the PC version of this game, this door has a keypad as well. I don't know why. So if you tried- It looks like they were trying to put the keypad in the NES version, but they got rid of it at some point. But instead of getting rid of it, they made it invisible. Weird. So I don't know the code here. So- Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh. I don't know the code. I don't know it. There's an alarm going off. I shouldn't have tried to close this door, which, if you close, it makes a close sound but stays open. Uh oh. I don't like that sound. It's not- it's not a good sound. It is still going. Let's... get out of here. Let's get- oh! Oh, it stopped! The house and everyone within a five-mile radius has been destroyed in a massive nuclear meltdown. And that's why you don't try to hack codes. <laughs> so I don't know why they, they tried to remove that keypad from the NES version. That doesn't make sense to me. And I could have sworn the same thing happens if you try to hack the, the keypad to the basement. But I guess I remembered wrong. Anyway, 7572. Right? Dave? We know the code now. I don't know why they failed to remove it. The thing is, at some point, um... They were trying to have a lot more stuff in this game. Like, there was, uh, there was gonna be, like, a, a statue of a woman... Uh, with titties in the hallway. Uh, there was gonna be some... There was various text that was straight from the PC version. The N Nintendo made them censor a lot of stuff. So at the last second, they had to remove a ton of stuff from the game. And I think that's why that keypad is still there. Because they were in a hurry to remove it and didn't do it right. It's weird. Here we are. Oh, oh, it's purple tentacle. Oh, no. He got me. He got me. We're in trouble now. Not the dungeon, it's just over there. Oh. Wait a second. Um. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to... Ha that wasn't... That was not supposed to happen. Um. Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. I think I know what I did wrong. Pretty sure I know what I did wrong. So we had made friends with uh, Green Tentacle, but more specifically, Razor made friends with the Green Tentacle. So, what if Razor 
gets accosted by Purple Tentacle. All right, Razor, get in there. Oh! He's here to save us! It's Green Tentacle! Don't mess around Green Tentacle's band members! We did it! Thanks, Green Tentacle. You're a bro. Oh, boy. Uh... Alright, Dave, head on in there. Alright, Dave, it's time. It is time. It's time to get a Pepsi. Oh, shit. I don't have any- I don't have any quarters. Hey, Sandy. How's it going? Hey, hey doctor. Uh... Yes, I got past all your safeguards. I'm very smart. What are you doing? What are you up to? Oh, no! It's just self-destruct! Shit! He's gonna blow up the whole house again! Quick, get this radioactive suit! We have two minutes! Get the radiation suit! Okay! We're a radioactive man now! Alright, we- the card slot. I have a key card this time, I promise. I promise I have a key card this playthrough. There he is, it's the meteor! Get him! Get the meteor! You can't get it loose? What? No, no, get- get the meteor! Oh, the switch. Right, turn off the switch. Alright, now get the meteor. Oh. Oh. Oh, we freed him of the meteor's uh, mind control. He can't turn off the self-destruct! We're fucked! Okay, now we can get the meteor, right? Got him! Alright, so we got the meteor, but the, the house is still gonna explode, so we're in trouble. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Quick! Put the meteor in, in, in the trunk. Close the trunk and, and and use the yellow key and and, and weird Edsel. The game has not crashed. There he goes. Goodbye, Meteor. Enjoy space. I'm sorry my insane plan caused you so much trouble. How can I ever repay you for your help? Cash would be nice. Don't be a tuna head. Congratulations! You won the game! We did it, everyone. We did it. We finally did it. Look at all these people who made- Ew, Tim Schafer! Ew! Gross! I changed my mind, zero out of ten. I don't think these bands are real. Pretty sure none of these bands are real. I think they made all these bands up. I'm almost certain they made up all these bands. Press B to play again. 
Well, that's one way to get rid of the meteor. How else can we get rid of this meteor? Let's see what we can do. It's locked. Uh. Shit, what opens this? Is it the glowing key? Is it the, uh, rusty key? The silver key? Just, just the regular key? What? I can't open this, really? Okay, hold on. Let's see if we have enough time to get another ending. It's sealed shut. Wait, no, this doesn't make sense. I can't switch kit. I could have sworn you can get back into the mansion, though. The small key's not gonna not gonna do it. The small key's for the scrungus. Huh. I could have sworn you can get back into the mansion. I must have misremembered that. I was under the impression you could run back into the mansion, go into the bathroom, and then flush the meteor down the toilet. But I guess I remembered that wrong. Huh. I really thought you could do that. Hold on, let me check if I'm... Hold on. Maniac Mansion Flush Meteor Toilet. I don't see anything about that. Huh. Why did I think that was a possible ending? I could have sworn that was a real ending. Could have sworn. Really could have sworn that was the actual- that was one of the endings. Weird. Very weird. Oh, anyway, we beat Maniac Mansion. <laughs> um... I am going to go to the bathroom, because I- I just drank an entire- entire can of gamer juice. So I'm going to take a big old pee pee. I will be right back and we will play some more Halloween. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. In like a minute or something. Dude, give me a minute to go to the bed. I'm just trying to pull up something to keep you some music or something. Hold on. That'll work. All right. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> 